Daddy Jing 29 Do you want to improve the world? I don't think it can be done. The world is sacred. It can't be improved. If you tamper with it, you'll ruin it. If you treat it like an object, you'll lose it. There's a time for being ahead, a time for being behind, a time for being in motion, a time for being at rest, a time for being vigorous, a time for being exhausted, a time for being safe, a time for being in danger. The master sees things as they are, without trying to control them. She lets them go their own way and resides at the center of the circle. Take the world and control it? I don't see how it can be done. The world is a marvel. You can't control it. Act and you ruin it. Grasp and you lose it. So, create, so creatures can lead, and, lead or follow, can breathe shallow or deep, can be strong or weak, can be de kept down or rise up, so the sage abandons overdoing, wastefulness, and pride. So if you look at it like uh, you look at it like you look at yourself, because you know, in earlier in the early chapter it says, "Love the world as yourself." It says, "Do you want to improve the world? Do you want to improve yourself? It can't be done. You're already complete. You can't add to perfection. If you're trying to add to perfection, that's tampering." The more that you try to add to perfection, the more that you ruin it, the more that you obstruct the perfection. And if you treat yourself like an object, you lose yourself. But you're not the object, you're the subject, you're the, you're the connector of all things, the consciousness, the Tao. So you're not the object. You're, the object is an extension of you. So if you uh, identify with the object, then you lose it. Again, it's, do you want to improve you? Do you treat you like an object? And then the, the circumstances that happen are there to show you what you are and what you aren't. So being ahead, behind, at motion, at rest, vigorous, exhausted, safer in danger, up or down, left or right, hot or cold, you realize the center of the circle, you realize the source of all of the, the temperaments or all of the conditions or circumstances, what have you, the changes. So, uh, you know, realizing that, then, you, you know, you realize the contrast of uh, what is eternal and what isn't. And then you can prioritize and uh, you can move from a sincere position because you have perspective. So the master sees things as they are without trying to control them because you don't want to be controlled. So you don't try to control anything. You let things go their own way because that's how you would want, that's what you want for yourself. You go your own way, the way that you're designed to go, that you design for yourself, what have you. And you reside at the center of the circle. So. Again, um, the sage uh, abandons overdoing wastefulness and pride. So pride being uh, this idea of what should it be or what should uh, be occurring and uh, trying to tamper with the process based on the, the local consciousness's opinion, the personal opinion. Uh, that's the, the pride uh, that's going to overlay or augment the reality and um, creates the wastefulness and um, creates the overdoing because it's a... Uh, it's going to inevitably create a need to compensate because pride takes you out of the moment. So being out of the moment, then you'll need to rush or you'll be in a state of lethargy one way or another. You'll be constantly, you know, in the past or in the future. So you're either rushing or you're stuck behind. So that's what pride does. Again, the world's a marvel. You can't control it. Acting, you ruin it. Grasping, you lose it. You can't grasp infinity, but you can be it. And you got to let things go. You know, you let things go their own way. They can be shallow or deep, be strong or weak. They can be whatever they are. Everything is as it should be. And in um, respecting that, things can, uh, can follow the truth in you.